Uh, today we're going to do a preview of Memphis Monday uh, 127. Uh, that will be out Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to take that project, here it is completed, and we're going to test it. Uh, it's a, an all wood uh, computer, I'm calling it the horse racing Ouija. Uh, it's a wooden computer to compute the uh, winners of a horse race. And, you know, they have uh, computer programs that do this. There's, they got AI programs and neural network programs, and I'm sure there's been MIT guys uh, that have used supercomputers trying to uh, uh, determine the, uh, the winners for a horse race. But my computer is all wood, and the thing about it is I understand how it works. And anybody, the problem with those computer programs is you have no idea how they work. Uh, you don't know how to program them, you don't know how to input them, and, and even when you, you do have input into them, uh, you don't know what it's doing to your, your, your numbers. Uh, but this you have complete control of, and my contention, my guess, is that it's just as accurate. So, but we're going to find that out today because today we're actually going to uh, take some results and take some uh, racing data and we're going to predict the, the finish order of, uh, of a race. And I'm going to show you how the computer works. But let's knock off the chit chat and get on with the preview. Okay, here's the computer. This is the hardware of the computer, and it's basically uh, just some dowel pins uh, lined out here with these little markers that mark the uh, uh, progress of the horse as you do your calculations. Okay, pretty straightforward, nothing, uh, nothing much there. But the heart of the computer what makes a, a computer kind of a special uh, kind of a special tool is that it's programmable and our software is comes in the form of these uh, little scales here that can be whatever you want them to be you can you can line uh, you can increment them uh, however uh, however you want uh, what you do is, is and this one goes from 70 to 140 and you just move your say the a score you want to mark up for this horse here is 100 just move the horse to 100 there and that's his position okay then you slide this forward for the next uh, category that you want to meet Okay, now uh, let's say this. Okay, this is the second category, and say he gets 110. So he's now there. Okay, so that's the software. But you make this, you make these scales up yourself uh, using your own ingenuity, and I'm going to make a a faux logarithmic scale right now uh, you can see that this scale is actually larger this than this other one and this was is uh, decremented here in uh, uh, 10 in, in units of 10 starting with 70 uh, this one is going to be decre decremented in tens also but the lines are going to get farther and farther apart. So that's uh, neat. So now you can see that as the number, it, as, as the score for the horse goes up he actually is advanced farther he gets a bonus for higher and higher scores 
So if you get if he has a 70, that's way down. He only gets forward an inch. If he gets an 80, he goes an inch and a half. He gets a 90, a 90, and he's he goes two inches. 100, he's advanced three inches. 110, he's advanced more. 120, and 130. So on this scale, there's a big, you get a big bonus for the higher the score. So if you really have bad number, a bad number on the, using this scale, you get, you get punished pretty badly. But if you have a big number using this scale, uh, you get advanced uh, disproportionately farther. Okay, let's uh, see where this data comes from. Okay, they call these uh, race cards. Uh, this is race one at Churchill Downs. And I picked, uh, this is May 14th, uh, 2017. Uh, you can get, you know, you, you can get these old race cards and then you can get, actually get the results. That's the results of race one right there. And each horse, this is number one, Charge and Storm, it's, it's just packed full of data. Uh, the day since the uh, last race, his speed, his, his, all his finishes from his races, his earnings, uh, his prime power, which is a really a summary of, of everything here. Uh, his speed, uh, his, his speed at different points in the race. Uh, these are finish, uh, his finish placing, his workout speeds. So this is just jam-packed with, uh, with data and it just, uh, cries out to be uh, fed into a computer and there must be a thousand uh, uh, you know electronic computers out there that crunch this data and give you results as a matter of fact on the race card down here at the bottom of the sheet it actually shows you the uh, what the computers who the computer thinks is going to win number six and, and then two gets second, four, three, five, and one um, because it's crunched all these numbers and the electronic computer has made this prediction right here. What we're going to do is we're going to try to beat this electronic computer. So what I've done here is I've gone um, uh, through the data from ra race one and I picked out four categories to analyze. One is the um, prime power uh, of each horse. That's horse one, horse two, horse three, horse four. The morning line, how I came, I converted that to a decimal number. Uh, for example, if, if, if you had uh, three to one odds, um, in this case, the guy had five to one odds. I take the five. I take the five. Double it. Make it. No, he, this guy had ten to one odds. Uh, I took the ten to one odds. Doubled it. That made it twenty. Subtracted it from a hundred, and he got an eighty. So all these are converted to a hundred point scale for the morning line. The morning line is the odds. Uh, the odds a horse has on this sheet. You can see right here. See that ten to one. I took the 10, doubled it, made it 20, subtracted it from 100, and got 80. Okay, the speed, that number comes, uh, I got the speed from, back here, uh, I got the late pace, last race, and uh, charge and storm at a 54. 
So this isn't actually the speed. Uh, this is the late uh, pace last race. Okay, the next one is, I call it behind here, and this is, uh, this really shows you the kind of, uh, uh, it really shows you the kind of uh, flexibility this has, because you can make up your own statistics. In this case, what I did for behind is I took how many places they were behind in the last two races, in this case it was 11, or th 13, subtracted 13 from 100 and got an 87. So this, this right here is two times the number of places behind the horse was in the last two races, subtracted from 100 and converted to that. Okay, let's, uh, let's input these numbers into our uh, wooden mechanical computer and see if we can beat the electronic computer. Okay, I'm going to do uh, one horse at a time. I'll, I'll do the first horse here and I'll do the first horse all the way to the end and then I'll do the other horses and we'll see how we do. Okay, basically what I'm going to do is enter the data for horse number one. I'll enter a 113, an 80, a 54, and an 87. Okay, our first number is 113. So, I'll move our spacer to 113. Okay, our second number is 80. Move our spacer to 80. Our next number is 54. So zero the spacer and go to 54. There's no 54 here. It starts at 70. So I'll just leave the uh, spacer where it's at. There'll be no movement. And I'll go on to the last category, which is 87. 87. Okay, there's the position of our first horse. I'll do the other horses, and we'll uh, see how our results are. Okay, this is how our computer says these horses are going to finish six, five, two, four, um, three, and one. Let's write those down and check them against the actual results. Okay, our computer says that six is going to come in first then five, then two, then four, then three, and one. <coughs> Let's check against the actual results. Okay, here's the how the horses actually came in. Five got first. Our computer said six was going to win. But you can see here, you can see there that those two little markers are very close to one another. So we, those two were inverted. Uh, I said six would win and it got second. Okay, then the other horses, two, four, three, one, were exact. So I think we pretty much nailed this race, except for the fact that uh, 
five actually won. And uh, we got all these down here. Okay, now let's look at something really interesting. Okay, this is, uh, this is really interesting here. This is a high dollar, uh, high dollar computer here. It predicted that six would win, just like I did. But then it said two, four, three, five, one. Uh, so we, with our wooden computer, with our wooden computer, we beat the wooden computer big time because it said it was going to be six, two, four, three, five, one. You can see that this high dollar high dollar computer electronic computer uh, we actually beat it pretty bad so at least at least for this one race so for at least this one race, race one that happened uh, May 14th, 2017, uh, our little uh, contraption here worked like a charm. Well, there you have it. Our 100% our wood uh, horse racing computer uh, it actually beat the electronic uh, uh, computer computer model pretty badly we actually nailed that first race uh, we got the first two horses flipped around but everything else was exactly in, exactly in line the beauty of this is that it's a hundred percent programmable uh, by just putting different scales in there and picking different categories and uh, mixing and matching uh, categories, it's just there's just an infinite ways to program it. But the beauty of it is, you understand how it works. Unlike a computer, uh, a computer program, uh, you have no idea how it works. The programmers don't even know how it works. Um, but this is understandable, 100% uh, programmable, and as we just saw, uh, fairly accurate. I'm going to, uh, probably before I publish this uh, video, I'm going to check several other races and, uh, uh, you know, and double check that it actually works, but I think it does. Well, anyway, that's, that'll do it for our preview of... Sunday at 8 o'clock, if you want to see how I built this, Sunday at 8 o'clock, the video will come out. It would be a, a Memphis Monday uh, 127, the horse racing Ouija. And so I guess that's it. I'll, uh, I'll see you Sunday at 8 o'clock. Thanks for playing along.